sounds like your networking journey early on was was really well established before you even hopped into the ID field officially. I mean, how, how did these contacts come into your life to where um, they, they had these projects ready for you? They just sort of knew that you were capable of doing them. You know, I think that wherever you work, it, in, it doesn't matter what field you're in, whether you're in instructional design, you're in teaching, you're in project management, you're, you're working in a pharmacy somewhere, like people get a sense of your work ethic and they get a sense of your drive and, you know, you really just leave an impression on people. So I think that's really what it is, is like, you know, you lean into projects, whether they're in your, your domain or not, you know, like you put your hand up and you do different things. And so whenever you are showing up in different ways in an organization, whether that's you're volunteering for projects, you're stepping into lead positions, you're raising your hand and giving your opinion inside of meetings, you leave a positive impression on people. So that's really how my networking really started was just like making a name for myself inside of the companies that I was working for. Not that I was like trying to make a name, but I really cared about the work that I did. Yeah. You really care and you show up in that way, like people notice that. And so that's really how my network started to grow and people knew that they could count on me and, you know, what kind of quality of work that I would deliver. Yeah.